What about paying us a visit? Long time since we've seen you. I'd love to come. Can I bring my friends? There are a lot of them. I'm afraid I think your new house will be too small for us. Not at all. We built a whole new village with dozens of huts and big fences all around to keep the wild animals. That's it. We'll build you a special corral just for you. Do say you'll come. We miss you. So Water agreed and set off to visit Sun and Moon. With him went all the creatures in the sea, the teeny sardines and the massive whales, the razor-toothed sharks and the glowing rainbow fish, the crabs and the lobsters. Sun and Moon were excited. They could hear Water's great roaring miles away long before they could see him. Then they spotted him. Flowing like a board blue. You again, dear friends, he boomed in what a marvelous new village he had built. Er. Yes, is everybody here? I'm afraid we're getting rather short of space. Not quite. Water above the din. And in sweat, two whales blowing their water sprouts madly. And a great big hippopotamus which immediately squashed poor moon against the fence. She shouted. You filled up the corral. There's no room for uh, anything else. Stop, water, stop. The water didn't hear her. He was way too busy welcoming all his friends. Sun and moon looked down at the, the scent uh, in the lawn, at the booming jellyfish and the wiggly seal, at the proud seahorses as they went riding by. Then a couple of flying fish came zipping along, and they docked their heads. It's no good. What, Moon? The corral's overflowing. I'd simply no idea that water had so many friends. We can't stay here. I'm leaving. Took a great leap into the sky. Sun, who loved her, followed, landing even higher. And water was left down on Earth, filling the great corral with all of his fishy friends. And that is why there are lakes and rivers and seas all over the world and why sun and moon shine down on them from above.